This Roblox editor with 14,000 subscribers lied about their death. Let's take a look. What's up with everyone suddenly faking their deaths? Like, I don't get the point of it. It's obviously attention. I know who so Kenzie is. They were formerly lovely Kenzie, and I made a video on them about a month ago. Recently something has come up about her again, and the moment I heard this I just knew I had to make a video on it. Huge thanks to this person for bringing this to my attention. It all began when this person made a video and urged people to read the description. This was the video. At first this just seems like a normal preppy edit, but then there's the description. XOXO Kenzie is planning to blang. She is saying there is a bridge two miles away and goodbye. Please please put hashtag we love you Kenzie on your YouTube channel name please everyone wants her to know how much we appreciate her and that we don't want her to leave us. Kenzie you are the only editor I truly love you have inspired me for almost a year now please don't do it. Hold up, hold up. Kenzie is the same person that faked jumping off the roof of her house and ending up in hospital a couple of months ago, or something along the lines of that, I can't remember. Anyways, if someone randomly comes up to you and says that there is a bridge that is two miles away and they are going to jump off it, would you really believe them? Because in all honesty, that seems unrealistic. Even if she meant it, I highly doubt she'd message her internet friends first if she were about to end it all. But you know, people believed it. And they began making videos similar to the one I just showed you, using the tag we love you Kenzie. She commented saying thank you, in a pathetic attempt of making it seem believable. I find it disgusting how she played with this person's feelings like that, as they seemed extremely concerned. So many people were worried about her, but she was lying the entire time. Kenzie also uploaded a video that day and said this. I'm spinning aren't I I'm shutting down my devices by. Thanks to everyone that used the tag. You can immediately tell this is fake. Why would you upload a video on the same day you plan to end it all? And I was correct, because look, she's alive, and still posting. In fact, she uploaded 19 hours ago. So you're telling me, this YouTuber with 14,000 subscribers played with people's feelings and worried them over nothing. She lied to hundreds of people. I hope she's apologized to the people that got worked up over this, because I find what she did to be absolutely disgusting. Thank you so much for watching this short video. If you found it informative, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, love you all. Bye.